so loud Throw a party downtown, it's your time Time is with us, we gon' make it work And we gon' show the world how the city go berserk Truckers play through five in the morning Which be the sounds that'll make you love the city of New Orleans You catch a bad vibe, chuck a douce Long as you feel alive, let's hit Bonto Roulette Cause we gon' make it feel right at home And you ain't gotta party alone Hey DJ, play one of my songs So we can keep dance to it all night long The greatest sound that you ever had So we can feel joy for the feeling bad So you can live life and enjoy your time We'll even stop traffic for the second line Okay, we're going to get straight into uh, one of our topics that we talked about was uh, why do black black people, what's stopping us from succeed? Like what's holding us back? What's holding us back? What's one of the main things you feel that's holding us back from moving forward? Like, like as far as what? Cause you already know I'm deep. You already know I'm. Well, I'm, we, we, I'm we, deep with it. We could say, as far as black businesses, period, was one of the things that you feel that's holding us back from, uh, you know, the business side of. It. Well, as far as I feel like just holding us back with businesses, bro, I feel like we scared to support our own. You know what I'm saying? Like we just, it's something about us seeing each other do better in family, friends, you know what I'm saying, as far as just neighborhood. It's a fear that we have, you know what I'm saying, of seeing the next person do better than us, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like it's just, it goes so deep to where that's just, the business aspect is just one one effect, you know what I'm saying, the things that just go so deeper than other than just that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just like a trickle-down effect. And business is, business is one, you know what I'm saying, one aspect of that, you know what I'm saying, that whole cycle, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like we, we don't support each other enough. Um, one of the main things I feel is that we don't, as a black people, we don't do enough research on our own. For sure. I mean... For sure. Everybody want a handout. Like whether what business, any business that that pop off for anybody, mm-hmm. everybody want a handout. Whether it's a clothing store, anything. You you most of the time you hear people say, oh, um, like with dealing with the hats. You say, hey man, I'm gonna sell this hat for twenty dollars. Oh man, you can't do it for this. Yeah. You can't do it for five. You can't do it for ten. And it's like all of because that's all we know. Yeah. It's the get over the the get over factor. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what we talk. We'll go spend whatever Gucci say, whatever Versace say. Like, that's what we do that to stunt on another. But like I say, like I said a couple episodes ago, we, we, we support all these brands to shit on our own people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Subconsciously. Because like I said before, these brands don't give a fuck about us. They'd rather, they'd rather us not... Rather, you know what I'm saying? Them, they try to not make it to us. They really trying to serve all rich people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Rich right. white people, though. Right. Like these brands that have been around for 400 years. You know what I'm saying? In the midst of slavery, when slavery first started. You know what I'm saying? Like these, this when these brands first started their incorporation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they was a part of all of this shit. They, they here to serve the rich. And black ain't definitely not a part of that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's so, like, it, I mean... We scared to support our own. We scared to keep our money within us. You know what I'm saying? Like, all we do, get our money to go give it to somebody else. You know what up. I'm saying? And that's what's holding us back. That's that's one of the, that's another thing that's holding us back. And the know? main topic... And the not, main, sa- not yeah. sa- saving. They're not saving their money. That's another Man, thing. we don't know how to save our money. We don't even realize that, first of all, we're not making enough money to even save. <laughs> That's the whole key. Yeah. We don't make enough money to even know how to save the money that we're making because it ain't enough. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it goes so deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as this, 
this whole topic, you know what I'm saying, that we're discussing as far as what's been holding our people back. It's us. You know what I'm saying? It's us. That's the that's the answer. You know what I'm saying? It's us. We everybody the reason. Everybody want the handout. That's, a, that's another thing. Everybody, everybody don't. Hand out. And that's, and you, you're right. Like, you're definitely right. But that goes down to everybody not knowing they self-work, knowing what they truly can do. You right. know what I'm saying? Knowing what how they can control their future. You know what I'm saying? And rectifying their past or just relearning what they thought that they knew. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the main thing that really was holding us back, you know what I'm saying? Because we got a certain mind frame of we think a certain way and think that we thinking the way that we thinking is the right way. You know what I'm saying? With the, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the right way or whether it's been proven or not, we still willing to still say, well, this is just the way I think. And I don't care what nobody else say. Or it could take the right person or the right time. You know what I'm saying? Because everything don't happen for everybody at the, at the right, you know what I'm saying, at, at the same time. But they got to gotta have some kind of plan. A five-year plan. I, I mean, you could do a, a, a three a, a three-month plan, but you gotta you gotta write it down first. That's what anybody who wants to start a business, anybody who uh, planning to to build a house. You know what I'm saying? It gotta start from from you writing it down, putting in your mind. Look, this is what I'm gonna do. From That's the true. That's true. But and then the second thing after that. Is finding out all the information that support that plan. Correct. And all the the, the 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 thin line and the small print shit that goes into whatever plan that you're trying to ex- you know what I'm saying execute. Man, you gotta find out all the information that there is to be yeah, able to execute. Because at the research. end of the day, every plan you know what I'm saying some things may change. You know what I'm saying you may start thinking going into something feeling like this the plan. Start finding out more information right. and feel like, man, this this ain't the plan. Right. This going to take me this long when I can invest my money in this. You know what I'm saying? And it'll take me this long. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about gotta the information. We just got to be. Got to be patient. We got to be willing to read, dog. Yeah, got to be that's patient. That's another thing that's t- holding us back. Yeah, we scared to read. read. We scared to read. Everybody. Uh I done had people ask me what, what my job, what I do as far as driving trucks and being, being the own operator. I done had people, well, what you do to get your own truck? Yeah. I give them the information. They call me back. Oh, uh, hey, what you do for this? I'm like, hey, man, it take time to read, do the research. You know what I'm saying? Once you do the research, execute it, yeah. and you go from there. All the same rules apply to everything. Everything right. that every every plan or business venture you're trying to go, all the same rules apply. Due diligence. Yeah. Due diligence means find out everything that go in court, you know what I'm saying, work out with the same, you know what I'm saying, mainframe that you're trying to go with. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, some things may not work out that way. You know what I'm saying? Some things may not be in line with what you're thinking you know what I'm saying, from the get-go, you know what I'm saying, like, man, I thought this was going to be this. I thought if I save this amount of money, it's going to turn into this. It ain't going to, you don't know. You may be. You may have been misinformed about some shit. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying, but you got to find out for yourself, you know what I'm saying, like, people people think a lot of shit happened fast, you know what I'm saying, yeah, people, it people don't, think. It don't happen overnight. Man, like, nothing happened are, overnight, dog. We know that. Everything a process, dog. Yeah, it ain't going to happen overnight. Everything. And just being patient with everything. Another thing is uh, what I feel hold us back as a black community is where it could be good and bad, social media. Social media is one of the things I feel that kind of hold us back from being successful. Like social media could be a platform to promote a market, a Mm -hmm. marketing scheme. But most of our people, they take social media and they they be on there all day yeah, and, and, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest I, I, I even you told me i was one of the ones that i never post nothing but i could go on there and i scroll past and even if i'm at work and i notice that i'm not being productive in what i'm supposed to be doing mm-hmm. and so and then certain things that make me mad that i see other people doing and i didn't told you about it you said hey man look that's them that's that's what it's for it's it's, it's 
is holding you back from doing what you're supposed to do. You know, all you're doing is taking that energy I'm taking from that off energy. of that shit. Exactly. And like I, like I've been saying from the get go, like I ain't no social media basher. I just truly understand the gifts and the curses, the, the gifts and the curses of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't even say. I can't give just the black people full credit on just the the curses of the influence, you know what I'm saying? But we play a big part, but it's everybody. Everybody seek attention. Everybody trying to get validation from somebody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's bosses, whether it's your coworkers, whether it's family members, everybody trying to get some type of validation. And social media just gave everybody a platform to try to get as much validation from everybody as possible for whatever thing, for whatever. Their opinion, yeah. their picture, That's right. what they eating. Like, I just want some type of validation. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, we why it's such a curse is because everybody care about other people's what they what, what they, they what the validation that they trying to receive. Another thing it do is stop is stop relationships as far as whether it be spending time with your kids. Um, you know, significant other, it take away because I mean you can't sit up there and be looking at social media. Now you're ignoring this person right here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So see, and that's the whole thing. It's all about how you do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like if if it's affecting time, if it's affecting it definitely affects time. For sure, because they got certain and, people and, like and they ain't what, only about to fuck with it when they taking the shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? Nigga take a shit for seven minutes, be in the bathroom thirty five minutes. Like looking at social media. <laughs> that's what that's what's really been that's really real though. That's real. And then get in the shower. Right. And then check it once they get out the shower. Right. So you done been in the bathroom an hour and fifteen minutes and complaining about your lady, cause she about to be in there two hours and fifteen minutes. You already know. That's just the way it go. You already know. You know what I'm saying? That's really real, dog. And dog, we could it affect health. We too. both know, dog. We both know. First of all, we drivers. We we on the road consistently. Right. Dog, to see the amount of people on social on media social while media. driving is unbelievable, dog. I mean, you could pass by anybody car, even sitting at the red light. Man, I'm the talking light about green, I'm talking about, about three, freeway. I'm talking about freeway, interstate, whatever. Right. <laughs> Social media, yeah, man. Dog. Selfish. Like, come on, dog. Yeah, I, I, I ain't definitely have seen somebody taking a selfie while they driving, man. looking in the mirror, man, doing their hand everything. It's off the chain. It's yeah, a, like man. I say, bro, but it's a gift and a curse because you could definitely do your thing. They got people that's... Getting it off of social media. Yeah, a lot of and people. And you can't hate. A lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Shout you out to the people that's yeah. using it as a real marketing plan. Man, it's a real tool. Because that's what it's, that's, that's another platform that, exactly. that, that it can be used for. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like social media, damn near, a worse form than alcohol. Because yeah, too it's much it. of it. It's too much. Dog, it's, it's, it's just fake. Yeah, it's fake energy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's fake confidence. You already know they got the people on social media. Like, I just, I just, I was just with you, homie. I got, <laughs> hey, you, I got a, <laughs> you look, really? I got a few family members, man. They, they I see y'all on social media. Y'all know who y'all are. I see y'all on social media, and then <laughs> an hour later, you calling me, asking me for money. We can't do this, man. <laughs> we can't do this, man. Social media, though, they they rich. Like, dog, didn't I just see you? But, hey, I ain't going to see them. We're going to let them live. Yeah. We're going to let them live. Perfect segue. For real. Perfect segue for the let them live. So what, what, what would be the, the outcome, the, you know, the fix? Solutions. The solution to dog, the people. It's a, long, it's, it's a long process, dog. It's, it's us knowing and teaching ours, you know what I'm saying? Teaching our kids, because that's the only solution. How they talk about you can't teach an old, an old dog new tricks? We we at the cusp, you know what I'm saying, of realization, and not all is our, is our obligation now to show them and to teach them all the shit that we didn't, you know what I'm saying, realizations that we still coming up with, because it's it, a continuing it, it, it process. It got to be a time limit, though. I think, I think, uh, 
from what I saw, you could set a time on your phone to cut off social media. You know I what mean, I'm saying? That they and even, use that. Even dealing like with my with my kids, they already know. I'm gonna give you about. First of all, you gotta do your homework first. Right. Social media gonna come last. But even I, I feel like the parents need to like. Be everything, more involved. Everything based on the parents, dog. Yeah, you know every, what I'm saying? they need to be everything. more involved. I'm just I'm just thankful and happy mind too young to even be on it yet. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm definitely regulating that. Good luck with that. It's oh, it ain't no good luck. Good luck with that. It ain't no good luck. I control but what I, the phone say. But, I control what the app says on your phone. Straight up, you're not about to have that. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what your mama say. Right. I don't care what your none of that. None of that matters to me. Straight up, I know the devils that they got in the world. And once you once you get off social media, that's, that's what you subject yourself that's to. It, man. Anybody can hop in the comment. And say anything, and I'm definitely not about to let my daughters be a part of that right. early. Man, you got a whole life to live, man. Why rush into this? We already know what that. I'm easing. Of that. I'm easing my way into this, like man. It's all. It ain't nothing to rush into. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So let's go back to the the the, the black business. Uh huh. Like I say, that, once again, the attitudes. We, I, I feel like our our people, not just our people. I feel like the, the, the mindset and the attitude keep us from progressing. The mind, as far as what going into the business or going, while we have the business, going into and while we have the business. Yeah, yeah. our 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 attitude. really reflects our mindset that's based on being uninformed mm -hmm. when you informed and aware and what they so called conscious of shit you will truly understand uh, stressing and mindset controls everything it control your future it control your present yeah that's stress a motherfucking ball it bring everything down you yeah. know what I'm saying and that's what I'm telling you is that that's why social media is a big Influence on it, our it, mindset it too because we Saying inadvertently taking we other taking other doing. people problems when it's really not like that. That person you don't know what that person going through on social that media. That person want clicks, dog. Yeah. That person want attention. That person want validation. Validation. Twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how it go. We in a valid. You know what I'm saying? This is the whole with the whole society based on right now, with the reality shows, with the everything. We all want validation no, from somebody. Show is funny. That's, a whole, nother, that's, a, that's, whole, a, whole, that's a whole nother. That's a whole show whole by nother. itself. Just talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Can't do that. I, don't, I ain't informed enough to know. I just got a straight, basic opinion and outlook on that. But it's still it's the same effect, dog. We have, it's the same effect. It's the same tie-in to social media. Because whatever happened on that, straight to social media. Everything That's what everybody around, around talking about. You know media, what I'm saying? Man. Everything. So yeah, man. The whole basis, the whole message we trying, I'm trying to spew, is getting fun. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to spread the message of finding out the information that we don't know, questioning everything that we feel like can be questions that we had ever had questions about. We got the cheat code now. The phone say everything. Yeah, you go you go to the phone. I mean, the drop of a dime. No, oh, all the information is there. Anything, any yeah. question, I'm a Google master, nigga. <laughs> you hear me? Google master, cause it's there for my convenience. I pay, all I gotta do is pay the bill. That's it. I can have all. I can get all the questions that I want answers and feel some feel the type of way about the answers. Mm. That's all this this life shit about. We don't know, dog. We we none of us understand nothing that's going on, dog. Or how 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 this shit came to be. You know what I'm saying? We all got our perceptions and what we think and what we feel like we having faith on or keep faith about. You know what I'm saying? But all we trying to do is answer our own questions. You know what I'm saying? Personal questions that we got. You know what I'm saying? And trying to validate our dreams, dog. That's what I'm about, you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, manifesting my dreams, you heard me, through positive shit. 
Yeah, it, it definitely. But it, it's, it's a method. Positive. It's a method. It's a method to the madness, though. Yeah. Truly, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a, it's a method to the madness, dog. Yeah, a lot a lot of people be depressed, man, off off of what they see on social media instantly. I I, I see it all the time. I be around people just out and about. You know what I'm saying? You just see people just yeah looking in their phone with their head down, head down, not paying attention to whoever they <laughs> with. Everybody, I'm talking about you could be in the mall, you could be driving, just anywhere. Everybody just connected to the head down. Phone. Head it's down. Crazy. It took over, man. Life passing, you got a whole nother world when you lift your head up. <laughs> a whole nother world going on. All you got to do is lift your head up. That's it. But yeah, man, we could wrap this up, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, we going we gonna to continuously bring this topic back. You know what I'm saying? Because there's going to be so many different episodes and situations that ha happen because of social media. Right. Which going to lead us back to what's holding us back. You know what I'm saying? The, the name of this shit. You know what I'm saying? What's been wrong with us? We, go, we got it. This this who we are. This our people. We're going to keep talking about this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is just a couple of little shits that we could spew right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so Stay tuned. Another week, man. And no opinions. Back out. My city get down, with so loud. Throw a party downtown, it's showtime. Time is with us, we gon' make it work. And we gon' show the world how the city go berserk. Truckers play through five in the morning. Which be the sounds that'll make you love the city of New Orleans. You catch a bad vibe, chuck a douce. Long as you feel alive, let's it bump on roulette. Cause we gon' make it feel right at home. And you ain't gotta party alone. Hey DJ, play one of my songs. So we can keep dance to it all night long. The greatest sound that you ever had. So we can feel joy for the feeling bad. So you can live life and enjoy your time. We'll leave a stop traffic for the second line.